Hi I'm Jason and in this short tutorial I thought I'd show you another easy way to get the kids off the computer at a scheduled time every night. So provided you have a version of Windows XP, Vista 7, 8 or 10 you won't need to download anything because you'll already have the task scheduler on your computer. Simply by going to your start button and then the control panel and then up here in administrative tools you'll see down here you have the task scheduler so let's double click that so over on the right here we can see that we can select create basic task so let's click that and we'll give it a name like let's say auto shutdown and in the description Let's say auto shutdown at 21.30 every night because that's what we want this task to perform. So we'll click next and I want this shutdown to occur daily so I'm going to leave it on daily and then click next. So on the daily screen we can see we've got our start date which is today's date and if I change this to 21.30.00 um, so that's when I want the uh, daily task to occur and it's going to reoccur every one days so I'm going to click next and we're going to leave it on start a program and click next now in the program script box here I'm going to type C colon backslash Windows backslash System32 backslash shutdown dot exe because that's the executable that will uh, shut the computer down and then where it says add arguments I'm just going to put in here a forward slash and an S because we want to instigate total shutdown I'm going to click next and then basically that's all there is to it so we can just click finish and we can see our task scheduled if I just go up here and click on task scheduler library we can see that we have a couple of tasks in here and the one that I've just created here auto shutdown so if I wanted to I could go in there and edit it uh, and, and change some things if I so wanted to do that but I am feeling a little bit guilty because come 9.30 there will be no warning it will just shut down so rather than have angry kids that may not have saved their homework I'll schedule an extra task to give them warning so if I go in to create another basic task and let's call this one warning and we'll say warning shut down message and click next and again we'll have this uh, happen every day so click next and so we set it for 2130 so if I set this to 2120 so 10 minutes before it's due to shut down and I'm going to click next now this time rather than start a program we're going to get it to display a message so we'll select that and click next and we'll give it a title we'll say message or we'll say reminder from dad and then in the message we'll say your computer will shut down in 10 mins please save all your work and then we can just say next and finish so we can see now we've got the auto shutdown and we've also got our warning message so come 20 past 9 it will give us that message or give the person that's using the computer the message that it was about to shut down in 10 minutes so please save any of your work and then it will continue to shut itself down and as you can see 
I've set this uh, scheduled task on a Windows 7 computer. However, when you're using a Windows 8 or Windows 10 operating system, this probably won't work in the same way, as good old Microsoft has removed some of the functions. So let me just show you by remoting onto my Windows 10 computer. So let's close that and I'll remotely connect. So here we are on my Windows 10 computer. So if I just type in here task scheduler. So let's uh, imagine that we were going to set up that warning message again. So everything looks the same. So I'm going to create a basic task. And again, we'll call it warning. And the description, we'll just call it whatever. Say next, leave it on daily, today's date. And again, we'll say 21, 20, and say next. Now what you might notice if you're using Windows 10 or Windows 8, there's a slight difference here. If you see where it says send an email and display a message, in brackets next to both of those radio buttons, we've got the words deprecated. I guess it's Microsoft's way of saying that they've removed this functionality. Why they couldn't just say this functionality has been removed or just not display the functionality, I don't know, but there you go. But all is not lost because you can still set a message to run by using the start program option. At the end of the day, we haven't got much choice. Um, so we'll carry on and say next. And then in the program script, box we're going to type msg for message and then in the add argument box we're going to type and don't forget you've got to put an asterisk in first and then we can type our message like this computer will shut down in 10 minutes and then we can click next and finish and that's the job done so that's the only difference between Windows 8, 10 and the other operating systems. Obviously there's far more things you could do with Task Scheduler. I just like using it to make sure the kids are off the computer by 9.30 every night. Anyway, I hope you found this tutorial useful. Please like, comment and subscribe and thanks for watching.